What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves Frostlass for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Frostlass, this Pokemon isn't that good. Like, you don't see it too much. But with this moveset, I think we got it viable today. I really do. It's got Will-O-Wisp, it's got Haze, it's got Icy Wind, and Snowscape. So it's not here for damage. It's kind of here to just pester around, grant speed control, take away stat changes, and most importantly, burn physical attackers. Everybody knows Will-O-Wisp is OP, especially when you hit a physical attacker. It just takes him out for the match, and it goes crazy. So we're hoping we can use Frost Lass in the snow. It's got Snow Cloak and Bright Powder. Keep it on the field for a little bit, and just have it pester. That's really what we're going to be using it for today. Our other five Pokemon on today's team features a bunch of meta Pokemon, except for one. Our meta Pokemon are going to be Ninetales, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Annihilate. Ninetales is going to be a great special attacker with the choice specs. Rillaboom and Incineroar doing Rillaboom and Incineroar things. Annihilate being a great physical attacker with bulk up. And then our final Pokemon is going to be Swampert. I feel like everybody loves Swampert. Such a dope starter. We all like it. Torrent, Clear, Amulet as its item and ability. With the Fire Terror type, Liquidation, High Horsepower, Wide Guard, which is such a good move. And last but not least, we have Protect. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Frostlass in ranked regulation H. Match number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against Hat Pikachu. Every time I see Hat Pikachu, it makes me laugh. I love it so much. It's just hilarious. It's just Pikachu with a hat dangling on its head. It's sick. It's awesome. Cannot hate it. Cannot hate it. They got Sneasler. They got Indeedee. Nice little combo there. Probably with a Psychic Seeds on Sneasler. They got Pelipper. And then they got Magmar and Bax Caliber. Now, from here, I think I kind of like going in the Frost Lass here. Because I feel as there's a chance that they potentially lead either Sneasler or Bax Caliber. Actually, we can't burn Bax Caliber. You know what? Frost Lass actually not good here. Frost Lass, we're not bringing you in here. You're not hopping in this first match. We're not bringing you. I am going to bring Ninetales, but I don't think I'm going to lead it. I don't think I'm going to lead it. I kind of want it just kind of counter Pelipper. But I feel like Incineroar is just a solid lead all around. So I'm going to go into Incineroar. And honestly, Swampert's not bad here. Nice little Swampert lead with high horsepower liquidation. I like it. I can get down for it. Let's do it. Swampert, Incineroar. We'll bring Annihilate. Actually, do we want Annihilate? We definitely want Ninetales. But then do we want either want Annihilate or Rillaboom? And kind of looking at team, Annihilate's just a stud. Annihilate's just a stud. Let's bring Annihilate in here. Let's get Annihilate rolling. So, match number one coming at you guys. I was going to bring Frostlass, and then I reali realized I was just like, Max Caliber has Thermal Exchange. It's just not going to work out well for us. Let's just save Frostlass for the next battle, or maybe the third battle. I, I already knew coming into this video, or this recording, I should say, that I wasn't going to be using Frostlass in every single battle. Because it just doesn't have any attacking moves besides, like, Icy Wind, which you're really not doing much with. So, I was just like, we're, we're, we're gonna, only going to be using it in, like, one or two battles. So, I knew that. But Pelipper and... Pikachu come out here. Um, I think I just fake out the Paloops here, right? And then if I can, do I just go for high horsepower? Right in the slot. I know he wants to thunder with Pikachu. Like, that. that's the most obvious play. That is the most obvious play. So I'm just going to go high horsepower here. He might even swap Pikachu. Let's see. Yep, there's a swap of Pikachu. Now, who do you go into is your question. I'm going to go into Indeedee. So Indeedee's going to have to soak this... Uh, this high horsepower. Um, can't fake out anymore. I mean, actually, we can. That is that is wild. Wait, why? Why? I'm actually kind of confused to why we were able to fake out. Oh, Pelipper's flying. He's flying. So yeah, that works out perfectly. So Pelipper's gonna flinch. We're kind of chilling in a solid position here. Um, who else speeds? Incineroar or Swampert? So I want to know who's gonna hit Indeedee if it goes for follow me. And it's gonna be Swampert by a little bit. Okay. So, I mean, knockoff's definitely going to be our play into this slot. And we will also liquidation into Indeedee. Indeedee might be able to get off a uh, expanded force. But at that point, it's like, you're only going to be hit by Swampert. So, fake out actually coming in clutch. Pelipper flying. We were able to fake out flinch. That was just massive. That was really massive. For a second, it threw me off. I was like, wait a minute. Why, why were we able to fake out? But Pelipper's not touching terrain. So, we're able to do it, which is massive. Which is massive. So Expanded Force flies, it's not going to affect Incineroar. It's going to chuck up some nice damage into my Swampert. And Pelper sets up a Talon, which is okay. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, because we're going to say bye-bye to Indeedee here. And furthermore, Knockoff's going to fly into the Pelipper. Which is nice, because we're going to do respectable damage and take off its item. If it wasn't Focus Ash already, right? There's chances are it could have been a Focus Ash. Let's see, what you got? 
It was the Focus Ash. So it didn't really matter. But still, the damage was great there. The damage was beautiful. So right now, they got some speed. Um, I do have to watch out for close combat. Do I have a Ghost Terror type? I might even swap Incineroar here, to be honest with you guys. Because there goes the Psychic Seeds. They're already outspeeding us. Um, swapping Incineroar could be clutch. Into Ninetales, right? Hmm. Could go into you, because I feel like it... I feel like a close combat's gonna fly. I really do. So I'm gonna actually do this. And if I can, I'd love to get off a of liquidation here. Actually, high horsepower might do more damage. What would? I kinda gotta do the calculations in my head. Because this is super effective. And it's stab. But this is stab in the rain. Actually, yeah, high horsepower does more damage. Simple math. Simple math here. So we're gonna swap in Cinema. We're kinda predicting more so a close combat from Sneasler. More than anything. So I'm gonna swap into my ghost type Pokemon. And Close Combat flies into the wrong slot. Oh, man. That hurts. That hurts. Luckily, defense drops. Um, I am able to go back into Incineroar. And I'm able to fake out Pelipper again, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Weather Ball is going to do uh, respectable damage, which kind of sucks. Oh, my lord. It gets a crit, too. Oh, man. That hurts the soul. And I'm going back into Incineroar just to intimidate. Oh, man. So we know Pikachu is their final Pokemon. We know that. That's a fact. All good here. Um, we could fake out the Pelipper. I could Terrasilize one of my Pokemon. But from here, honestly, I'm just going to go for Rage Fist in this slot. And I have Grass Terror type, which I am going to actually send. I am just going to send the Grass Terror type. I need a parting shot here. I am going to parting shot. No, I'm not. We're going to make sure this Pelipper goes down. We're going to get rid of this Pelipper. We still are going to Terrasilize, though. I know Dire Claw can KO us next turn. But I kind of need this turn to take out this Pelipper. So he's going to Terrasilize into Ghost. We're not faking it out. Good call on RN just to straight up attack this thing. Um, Sneasler's probably taking out Annihilate, if I had to guess. If I had to guess. And then we get to go into Ninetales and get Weather Control for the rest of the match, which could be really clutch for us. Especially with... Uh, Sneezler's, well, Sneezler's special defense is now even because of close combat and the like Psychic Seeds kind of cancel each other out. But this one's going to come down to the wire. This is going to come down to the wire. Throw Chop launches. That's fine. Incineroar, we're not Incineroar. Pelper probably wants to go for Weather Ball here into Incineroar. Yep. And the Grass Terror type is going to help us out tremendously. And we're going to be able to take out Pelper. All right. Oh, dude, this is so tough because Dire Claw pretty much just KOs both my Pokemon. Dire Claw will KO both my Pokemon. And that's the terrible part. I got the weather coming in hot here. They still got Pikachu. I'm pretty much going to have to choice into Blizzard. And I can launch a Flare Blitz because I know you're not Focus Ashed. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just Flare Blitz this Sneasler and drop a Blizzard at the same time. So Blizzard into Flare Blitz. They got speed. I don't like how this is looking. It's not looking good. He's going to Dire Claw one of my Pokemon. I don't know who it's going to be, though. Probably my Ninetales, most likely. Because he kind of knows Incineroar's moves. Actually, it might be Incineroar. He might just want to get rid of it. Dire Claw, yeah, into Incineroar. We end up soaking. Thank you to the minus one attack. He gets a Paralyze. Hold up. He gets a Paralyze. And Pikachu, what are you doing? Because you're up next. I got a Berry. Hold up. We're getting some HP. Hold up. Hold up, Citrus Berry always clutching up. And a Thunderbolt's going to launch in this slot, which you should soak all day. No Paralyze. Thank you. Blizzard launches 100% accuracy. Takes out the Pikachu. All I need is to not be Paralyzed. And it's game, set, match. Incineroar, do your best. Flare Blitz flying out here. Thanks for playing. Hot start for your boy. Match number one going to us. So far, hot start for your boy. We're hopping into match number two, and we're going to be looking to use Frostlass a little bit here. I like Will-O-Wisp on a few of these physical attackers. More importantly, Basculesion and Toxicroak. And we also can grant some speed control with it. So I am going to end up going into Frostlass. And if Archludon gets out of hand with, like, Stamina Boost or Electroshot Boost, we could always just, you know, haze it up. So I really do like Frostlass here. It's a pretty fast Pokemon, and I feel like we can get some work done with it. Yeah, 178. Come on, Frostlass, get in here. I could lead it with Ninetales, not going to lie. Um, hmm. Probably not, though. So I can just straight up hard swap. I'm gonna go for all size here. Um, who else should I lead? I could lead Incineroar because chances are they're gonna lead Incineroar. Right? 
most likely I see that happening. I'm gonna go Incineroar here. So Incineroar Frost Slice for our lead. I definitely like our Annihilate. And last but not least, we end up going into Ninetales just for a bit more weather control. Yeah, I mean Ninetales got Freeze Dry on it. It's got Blizzard. It can deal with a lot of these Pokemon. I like it. I like it. So we're sitting one and zero. Hot start for your boy in the last match. We didn't get to use Frost Slice. We're gonna try it out here. But again, Frost Slice is very situational. So we'll see how this one plays out. We'll see how this one plays out. But I would love for them to just lead like Toxic Croak or Bastion Legion. And I just toss a burn onto that thing. Just burn it up right away. And let's see who they got cooking here. It's going to be Bastion Legion Pelipper. So Bastion Legion Pelipper come out here. Um, I do get off a nice little Intimidate. And I could just hard swap and burn. I really think that's our play. Hard swap, burn this Bastion Legion. Kind of go from there. I think that's 100% our play. I think it's 1000% our play. So we'll do that. We'll hard swap into Ninetales. We'll grant some weather control. And we'll go from there. I'm cool with that. I get the Snow Cloak too. Snow Cloak, Bright Powder combo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's see. Hopefully they just keep Bash Collision on the field though. I would like, it would just be so massive. Just to put a burn onto this bad boy. They might even swap Pelipper. But the thing is if they swap Pelipper this turn, they're probably going to swap it in next turn and I could just Snow Scape with my Frost Lass. So Frost Lass is here to play. It ends up withdrawing Basic Legion. Go into Toxic Croak, please. Go into Toxic Croak. Give me a physical attacker. Arch Ludon. Okay, not a physical attacker, but still, Burn could kind of just pester around. Burn could, can kind of just sit on the field, pester around. We're able to go into Ninetales, which is great news. The Ninetales, get on out here. Snow warning, set in the snow. Protect comes out from Pelper, and this could be a really good turn for us, as long as I land us a Will O Wisp. And I land it. So I, I take that turn as a victory. We, we get weather control. We get a burn on the Arch Ludon. I know it's special attacking, but still, the chip damage onto a bulky Pokemon like this is just great on soon. Beautiful. So burn popping. Um, hmm. Could start slowing Pokemon down. And I could throw Blizzard across the board. I think spamming Blizzard is probably your best bet, right? I could go into freeze dry, but I just think spam Blizzard, especially with the choice specs, is definitely in our best interest. I think you do swap Pelipper here anyway, and I wonder if it's in the Basket Legion or your final Pokemon. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Blizzard. And Blizzard's definitely our player. They don't know where choice specs. Choice specs is really good damage. Might as well send double damage and have a chance to freeze at the same time. That me terrestrializing. That terrestrialize on accident. I sure did. I sure did. <laughs> I sure did terrestrialize on accident. This might be terrible news. This might be terrible news. Of course I did. So Icy Wind launches. It's going to slow everybody down, which is beautiful. But yeah, I, I uh, made a mistake on the Terra. I made a mistake on the Terra board. Blizzard now flies. Does great damage. We got rid of Pelper. That's, we love that. We love that. So Pelper or Goner? This Terra actually might be good. He might be going for Flash Cannon into, into Ninetales. Now you're going into my other Ice Pokemon, Frost Slash. So Frost Slash getting off a little bit of value, actually helping us take out the Pelipper and burning this uh, Arch Ludon, who's now minus one on speed. It's plus two on defense. And I could just go into Incineroar. I think the whole whole thing is, if we're going to get rid of this uh, Arch Ludon, it's going to be Ninetales. So I'm going to go into Incineroar. Hopefully they go into like Basic Legion here. Let's see. What you got here? What you got here? Who are we intimidating? It'll be Amoogus. So Amoogus on the field. Amoogus could easily terrestrialize into like water here. We are just going to rip a blizzard. And I think I'm just going to fake out Amoogus. I really just can't afford to go to sleep right now. I'm gonna fake out you. And blizzard across the board. Play it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Because again, we just have to start slowly chipping up with blizzard, right? Blizzard. Burns. Just gotta keep getting after it. So he's actually not gonna thrash which is pretty huge for us because Blizzard's gonna do an insane amount of damage and just take him out. And one more turn of burns. Oh, we get the crit too. We get the crit too. Oh, a, a double crit. A double crit. Wow. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The double crit. Massive. Massive. And he's gonna launch a Draco Meteor. Try to KO me. I'm able to soak all day, baby. All day. So we soak really well. Burn is going to chip up. One more burn will KO it, so I'm not really too worried about that Pokemon. So I think it's time for us to just attack this Basket Legion. Right? 
Just attack the Basque Legion. I know it has last respects. I could hard swap into potentially. I could potentially hard swap into like. Annihilate, but I think from here, a simple call is just Blizzard into knockoff here. We already know we outspeed the uh, the Arch Ludon, and Arch Ludon's gonna die out next turn, so. We're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna keep it simple. I'm really hoping that Incineroar can eat up whatever Basque Legion has to offer. But chances are, if it's going to hit me, it's going to hit me with a wave crash. And I I just don't see it. <laughs> we're soaking up a wave crash. Wave crash just does so much damage. We're just going to launch. Do great damage to Basket Legion. Luckily, Basket Legion is not that bulky. And what is up with these crits, man? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like we're winning this match regardless. But I'm sorry about the crits, man. I really am. Last Respect's going to fly into Nine Tails. And that's a mistake because Knockoff's just going to KO the Basket Legion. GG's to our opponent. 2-0. We're killing it with this Frost Lass squad. We are killing it. And Frost Lass was actually pretty good. Icy Wind helping us out. Speed. Nice little burn. And then there's that knockoff to finish off this match. We're sitting 2-0. Let's go up to our third and final match. Final match on its way. And we are going up against Quagsire. I love this derpy little Pokemon. I think it's hilarious. I really do. They also have Golden Go. They got Dragapult alongside with Frigograph. And then Ursaluna and Incineroar. So pretty solid team all around. We just got to remember that he has Water Absorb onto that. Quagsire, um, hmm, do I want to bring Frost Lass here? I actually still kind of like Frost Lass. I'm going to end up bleeding it. So I'm going to go Frost Lass, and honestly, I'm just going to double down with Weather. I'm going to go Frost Lass and Ninetales. I just think that's a solid lead for us. So Frost Lass, Ninetales coming out here for our lead. Um, Incineroar, great as always. And last but not least, probably going to go into Annihilate here. Just two very solid Pokemon. Incineroar and Annihilate, just elite. They're just elite, right? They really are. But I like our lead right here. Frost Lass going into with nine tails, I mean, I can ice you in, I can blizzard. If they throw out a physical attacker, again, I can burn. I can always freeze dry too if they, they're going in with like Quagsire. Let's just see. Let's just see what they're going to cook up with. Dragapult, Incineroar. Not bad. Not bad at all. They're, they're going to be faking out my, uh, I might even hard swap into my Incineroar. They're going to be faking out my, uh, what's it called? Their hands down going to be faking out my, uh, my nine tails. So I might even, I might even swap it here. I really might. And honestly, let's just start throwing some burns around. Let's will o -Wisp you. will o -Wisp. I could slow him down a little bit. And then we can swap it to Incineroar. The thing is, I just can't afford a fake out takeout here, right? I don't have Protect. I do not have Protect. I don't have Ghost Terror type. And sitting here with Frostlass on the field, who's already Ghost type, they're pretty much just going to target down this uh, Nine Tails with probably fake out. So I don't mind swapping and getting off an Intimidate. I know Dragapult's clear body, but Intimidating Incineroar is pretty big too. Could be just be going for a knockoff, but I really hope not. He's gonna U turn pivot. Ooh. U turn pivot. That's fine. Get a crit. Alright. My, my, my crit luck's bouncing <laughs> against me now. Last match, we we're getting crazy crits. But who's he gonna go into from here? Because we're burning this, this Pokemon right here. We are burning this Pokemon, and it's probably a special attacker. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. It's gonna be Quagsire. That's actually a. Is he physical? I feel like he's physical. I feel like he is physical. I feel like a lot of times he's ripping uh, high horsepower liquidations. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I hope he's physical. I really do. That would be a big time burn. There's that. Knockoff's going to fly and KO us. Actually, you... Whoa. Whoa. You're out bulking. My bright powder's gone, though. You are out bulking. It's actually not a bad burn. Not a bad burn. Um, hmm. I'm going to slow down them. And from here, we are honestly just going to knock off Incineroar's Berry. Instead of going for a fake out, we're just going to take off Incineroar's Berry. So Icy Wind flies. Nice little damage. More importantly, the speed drop. And Knockoff's going to fly and show me that you're rocking a berry. I just want to get rid of it. I really do. Safety goggles. Okay. Knockoff's going to fly from Incineroar and take out a Frost Lass. So Frost Lass is actually getting off some value, especially if Quagsire is out here as a physical attacker. And I guess we'll find out right now. And you're yawning. That's fine. You just give me a reason to swap Incineroar. Alright. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Now, do I go into Annihilate here? And predict the Incineroar swap in the Dragapult? Might be your best bet. I'm gonna do that. I, I think I might do that. Hmm. Or I could just go into Ninetales and just start ripping freeze dries. Water Terror too. I kind of would rather try slicing like or uh, twisting the dazzle gleam at this point. 
Yeah, we're gonna save Annihilate. We're gonna save little Annihilate. I'm gonna have to swap into it right here anyway, but um. Yeah, let's try Ash Slash and just Dazzling Gleam. It's gonna do respectable damage on both sides. So we'll do that, and actually, I outspeed, so I might as well parting shot out of here before the yawn turns take me away. And there is a chance that. I don't think he's swapping the Dragon Pole. We're gonna party shot into Incineroar. Which draws Quagsire. So Quagsire out of here. We gotta burn onto it. He's gonna go into Frigraph, which is fine. Desmond Gleam gonna launch. We know their whole team now, though. Which is pretty good news. And we're gonna hit this Terror button just in case, like, Fire Blitz is flying through here. I'd rather keep my Nine Tails at as much HP as I possibly can. So Quagsire burn. We're down a Frost Slash, though. Um. We still have Annihilate, but I really like our Pokemon. Dragapult's their, their, their scary sweeper. Dazzling Gleam's going to launch, do solid damage across the board. And Partner Shot, we're out of here. So Incineroar is sitting here minus two, which is great news. Incineroar minus two. We still have our Berry, which we love. And we get to go into our lovely little Annihilate right now. Annihilate, get on out of here. I could start going for bulk ups. I mean, I do have to watch out for Psychic. So I might just target down this for Graph. And there goes the Fire Blitz, which is a great terror choice in our, on our end. If it takes a little bit of recoil. I think we have to target down this for Graph. We're going we're gonna to go for another Dazzling Gleam. And I'll probably just Drain Punch this for Graph slot. I don't think he swaps for Graph. There's no way he swaps for Graph into Dragon Pole. If he's going to swap anybody, it's in If he ends up swapping nobody, Dazzling Gleam chunking up some damage. Drain Punch. Almost finishing off for Graph. He's going to pop a Trick Room. No, he goes for a Psychic instead, which I don't like. I don't like one bit. I'm able to soak. I should be able to soak this shot. It's going to be a parting shot. And he's going to go into our Nine Tails. So, um, chances are you're going to go back into Dragapult. I hope Quagsire. If you go into Dragapult, I mean, either way, I think we should swap Nine Tails and just save it. And I think I should just get rid of this for Graph. It's going to be Dragapult. Pult comes out here. Should I stick with just Dazzling Gleam here? I think I might. I think I might just stick with Dazzling Gleam. Even though I'm minus one, I can still do nice damage. But the problem is, if Annihilate dies out here, we're going to be minus one the whole match. I still think Dazzling Gleam does good damage. I really do, especially being Choice Specked and super effective on the Dragapult. Dragapult right now is our main threat, so if I swap Ninetales and just let this thing sit on the field for an extra turn and get off damage, it's just not going to be good for us. Maybe the RNG gods can give us another crit. That would be amazing. He ends up E-turn pivoting instead. We're able to soak this shot. And you're going to go into Quagsire? Because if you go into Incineroar, my Annihilate gets boosted. If you go into Incineroar, my Annihilate gets boosted. And you're going to end up going into Quagsire. So Quagsire comes out here. Slowly going to be chipping up this Quagsire. Dazzling Gleam going to finish off the Frigoraph, which is great. We get off a little bit of damage on the Quagsire. Drain Punch going to hit up onto... Actually, I went for a Rage Fist, didn't I? Yeah, Rage Fist going to actually... Might actually KO you. You took a couple hits. Let's see. What you got? One HP, but the burn. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The berry pops out here. So berry's out and about. Um, I think now's a good turn for us to swap nine tails. Let's see what they go into. There's no way they go into Incineroar. They have to go in the Dragapult. They have to go in the Dragapult. Yep, and they do. I think I just stay on the field. I really do. I really think I just stay on the field here. We just go for Daz and Gleam. Let me just go for a uh, Rage Fist here. Give me no reason not to. Phantom Force flies. Smart play there. Phantom Force launches. Um, He's choice into that now. So we're going to have to remember that. That's going to be going to KO the Quagsire. And we'll see who he's Phantom Forcing. Because he's going to go right into... He's forced to go into Instant War. Now we're plus one. Or we're going to be plus two on attack. Or no, plus one. All right. Yeah, I'm going to swap it to Incineroar here. I, I got to make this thing minus one. And I got to reset my, my nine tails here. I got to reset my nine tails. Plus, I get the snow going. So, just in case he's attacking nine tails. Actually, we're just going to drain punch Incineroar. Let's make life easy. Let's make life easy. Let's turn this into a 2v1 situation. Let's turn this into a 2v1. I'd be surprised if he terrestrializes and it goes here. Because I don't, I don't think he uses ter Terror yet. Definitely haven't used it. That comes Intimidate, though. Put this thing minus one. 
And Fake Out's gonna launch in this slot, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. He's gonna Phantom Force into this slot, and that's, that, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Then I got a full HP Incineroar. I got a full HP Ninetales. We're gonna reset set the snow. They're terror types. If I had to guess, it's gotta be pretty much grass like us, and it's gotta be Dragon on the Dragon Bolt. Wait, I gotta see if they use their terror type yet. That's that's important. I don't think they have. I could be wrong though. Sometimes I'm wrong. Yeah, no, they haven't. They haven't used Terra. I think just by going into a knockoff and choosing into Blizzard now is hands down our best option. Hands down. So he's choosing the Phantom Force. We already know that. We already know he's choosing the Phantom Force. Blizzard should be able to KO Incineroar. And it doesn't. Oh, that hurts the soul. Go for a Flare Blitz or something. Let's for a parting shot. It's kind of just staying on the field here. And we're just going to go for the same thing next turn. Knock off into Blizzard. And we'll go from there. It's Choice Ban. It's, he's 100% Choice Ban. So it's going to do some damage. So we'll go for Knock off here. Stick another Blizzard. And as long as my Ninetales survives here, because you got to be attacking Ninetales. I would hope you're attacking Incineroar. I know Incineroar can soak this shot. Ninetales, on the other hand... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Band of Forest, you should soak this. We might lose this. <laughs> we might lose this. Oh, man. I knew this Dragon Pulse a problem. I knew this Dragon Pulse a problem. He's probably going for another party shot here. Yeah, he is. And we're speed tied. I think we're speed tied right now. I'm minus two. Can I get a crit here? Can I just get a simple crit? Knock off flies. How much damage are we doing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Damage immaculate. So he's not choice ban anymore. Do we attack it? I'm going to get rid of Incineroar. Just in case he wants to go into another. There's no way he goes into Phantom Force. I should have I attacked the Dragapult there. I should have attacked the Dragapult. What am I doing? There's no way he's going for Phantom Force. I should have attacked Dragapult. He's got to be going for like Dragon Dart or something. But luckily, choice ban has gone. Choice ban has gone. So the damage output going to be slimmed down a little bit. I still have Berry, which is good. And out comes... This has got to be the Dragon Terror, finally. I still have Berry. So, oh, you have Fighting Terra? Are you fighting Terra Terra Blast it? This is brutal. That's pretty much game. Yes, it is. Oh, my lord. Fighting Terra Terra Blast. If I'm going to lose anyway, I'm glad it's that way. I got Berry. I got Berry. Give me a chance. I don't think we have enough HP, though. Yeah, 110's not enough. 110 simply is not enough, and he's able to outspeed. He's going to... Hold up. He's going to die out to recoil. Can knock off KO. I don't think it can. It's not super effective anymore. That'd be crazy if we get a crit here. Give Jeans a crit. Papa needs a crit. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's game. Game set match. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Good moves on our opponent, and we end up going 2-1 for today's video. They played that Dragapult so perfectly. I knew that Pokemon was a problem the whole time. And again, they just wasted out some turns. They finally got rid of Ninetales. They terrestrialized, and it was game, set, match. So, out comes the last Terra Blast. Again, we go 2-1 for today's video. GG's. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, showcasing Frostlass in today's video. I know it wasn't that high power special slash physical attacker that you guys all love to see, but hopefully you guys still did enjoy it. will o -Wisp goes crazy. Icy Wind we use a little bit. We didn't get to use Snowscape or Haze, but like I said, this Pokemon's just here to pester, and that's what it did. That's exactly what it did. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.